Hello, this is a presentation for the Pixel Perfect Camera Scripts. First, you have to apply the script on a 2D orthographic camera. Then, uh, I'll talk about the main purpose of the script, which is to enable pixel perfect rendering of sprites. In this demo, we have some textures that use point filtering, which is near Earth's neighbor. So, as you can see, the pattern here is not rendered correctly. And if I translate the background, you'll notice some flickering, some artifacts. Now I'll enable the pixel perfect mode. As you can see, the pattern is now rendered as it should, and the artifact, the flickering, is now gone. So, how does this work? First, you have to set your target width or height. This is what you ideally want the width or height to be. Then you enable the pixel perfect mode and what it does is that it selects the closest perfect resolution. Uh, most probably it's not going to be the same resolution as the one that you set here, but it's going to find the closest one. Uh, below here you can see some stats that help you understand what's going on in the background. Uh, this is the width and the height, the resulting width and height. In this case it's the same as the one we uh, used. However, if I enable the pixel perfect mode, you can see that uh, the width is slightly smaller. Uh, in some cases, it may, it may be smaller or, or larger. Uh, over here, you can see the pixels per unit, which is uh, how many screen pixels are used for each uh, unit. Uh, over here, you can see a ratio, which is how many units, so, sorry, uh, how many uh, screen pixels are used to render a single asset pixel. Uh, so now we are not in a pixel perfect uh, resolution, so this is not an integer, it's 1.39. However, if I enable this mode, you can see this is an integer, which means that its asset pixels, asset pixel is rendered exactly to two screen pixels. Uh, so let me uh, go through a few more um, capabilities of the script. As I said earlier, you can either set the width or the height, what that means. Uh, usually when you set the height, which is what the default camera does, uh, then the width depends on the aspect ratio of the display. So you can see now that I will change the display and you can see that the width changes, the height remains the same. However, uh, in uh, when you are targeting mobile, uh, perhaps you want the width to remain the same and adjust the height depending on the device. So right now I'm targeting a w the width and when I change the device you can see that the height changes, not the width. Something that you also may find useful is that uh, you, don't your, you don't want your camera to uh, exceed a specific width or height. So, in this demo, we don't want the width to get uh, larger than uh, the background, which is 1.5 units, and we don't want the height to get larger than uh, 2.5 uh, units. This is because if I increase the width, you can see that uh, we are rendering outside our background. This is something that we don't want to happen. So, if I enable the max width and or the max height, you can see that the camera is restricted in this area. This is uh, very useful when, for example, you control the width but you can't control the height because the height, as I said earlier, depends on the device. So, for example, if I set the width over here and the user comes with a very uh, tall device, then the camera gets outside the bounds. So, but if I had enabled the max height, you see that the, the camera snaps here and the size over here gets bold, which means uh, you set the width to 1.5, the height gets 2.65, however, if you enable the max height, uh, the script tells you that uh, I can't do what you want because I am restricted to the height, and this gets bold to remind you of that. So you can set both the height and the width, or just a single value. And you can also enable the pixel perfect camera mode. I uh, hope that you find this script very 